Hello everybody, today I will show you a quick tutorial how to make G Fuel. So, you can buy a few different containers of G Fuel. You can buy a tub, you can buy a packet which I don't have at the moment, but it's a, like a small plastic packet with one serving of G Fuel. You can also buy starter packs which come with uh, seven packets and a shaker. That's the best thing I recommend for uh, getting for first time people who'd never tried GFuel before. And also there are hydration tubs which I didn't try and energy crystals. But I don't think energy crystals are worth buying because they are overpriced and I don't think it's that good. So. Now let's go to the tutorial. So basically, you can. Uh, I will use a shaker. You don't need to use a shaker. You can use a bottle. You can use whatever you want. But shaker is the best thing you can use. So basically, you just fill it up with water, put the cap on, and it's good to go. So I guess we will do spicy demonade today. It's a spicy G fuel flavor. Some people might not like it because it's spicy. And it's really spicy. So, all you have to do is open it up. And that's the most important part. Uh, G fuel shakers uh, scoops come like that. You only you need to open it up. And only fill it up to here because uh, this part is only used to put it in water bottles uh, well the design is pretty strange that's uh, some people uh, don't even know how to use it and they use a full scoop like that and then they uh, think that uh, their G fuel is very chalky but that's not because of G fuel it's because of how you use your scoop so, spicy demonate, one scoop. Okay, that's exactly how you fill it. And now, boom. And let's close it up so we don't accidentally pour it all over. Let's close the shaker and shake. You should shake about 30 seconds, I think. And some people even shake it for 2 minutes. I think that's a bit overkill. I think 30 seconds is more than enough. As you see, spicy demonade, nice green, fla uh, yellow flavor. Also, a lot of people do something very nice. They put ice cubes in their G fuel, and it's really, really good. Uh, alternatively, alternatively, you can just put it in fridge and wait an hour or so. That's what I usually do. Now let's take a sip. Yeah, awesome. It's a spicy flavor. Yeah, it burns my throat a little bit, but trust me, it's good. So, did I forget to mention anything? Oh, just a tip. Mm, I don't see the packets. Let me... All G Fuel tubs come with this packet. Always leave it inside because it will uh, make uh, G Fuel last longer. And you also can check uh, if it is damaged. Because if it is damaged, that means that there are some inedible particles inside G Fuel. But it shouldn't happen. But if you will not... Uh, 
Checking will not hurt you. So let's recap. You only fill the scooper up to this part. You can add ice to make it better. Also, shaking for 30 seconds is enough, at least for me. You can uh, use shaker, but not necessarily. You can use bottles too. Also, there are a few different types of G fuel. Tubs, packets, hydration tubs, energy crystals. And I prefer tubs, I guess, because we are... Uh, the cheapest compared to the what you get uh, the best quality quantity and price equivalent I I guess and most of the tubs are really good too especially in Bogo sales where you can get two tubs for one price of one that's awesome so that's it I guess Thank you for watching and have a nice day and peace.